I guess I needed some sort of like official start then looking around at my screens all stupid when these streams start so take no I need an official intro for this what's up guys this is Adam today we're going to continue our journey at tooling various parts and pieces inside Tinkercad so as you can tell I've been uh, printing for quite a bit of years and the the skill level where I'm at right now is still pretty amateur. So we're working around in Tinkercad, trying to figure out different ways that you could use it to its most. And so what I've been doing is been tinkering with a mount for a camera. The camera is my roaming cam. So you can't actually see the mount that I currently have because it is mounted to this camera. But what we're trying to do is create an arm. So if you watched the last couple streams or I guess the last one you saw that we designed this little doohickey right here now it's just pieces of it it's not necessarily uh the whole thing it's not supposed to look exactly like you see right here here I'm going to show it on this other camera for a second so this is what we've created it's it's a, it's an articulated arm now I don't have it tightened down so it's not going to actually look I just got kind of stung by a little burr on this son of a a gun. I'm going to take that sucker off. Uh, so in any case, this is what we created last time. And so as you can see, I have these little tiny parts. I have these longer parts. And we're using some various M... I can't remember what size bolts these are. I'll go ahead and post those in a little bit. Or we can look at it once I stand up. But the general gist of it was last time around, we had created those, uh, those different parts... But one of the things that was a problem is they did not fit together. And it was because the tolerance and the sizing of two of the parts wasn't great. So let me show you kind of how we approach that. So just give me a second here. I changed up my whole schema on this thing. So we got to make sure we turn off those name keys so we can move around. Okay, I'm going to jump online and show you a little bit of where we kind of landed with this. And then kind of where we're going next. Okay, so what you're seeing here is my Tinkercad just file that we had worked on earlier. So once I click on this little dude, we're going to jump in and be able to rotate it around. So again, if you're working in this kind of a platform, don't expect to have this exact kind of measurements and things, which you do have in here, but it's going to be really hard to build parts and pieces that really truly fit and articulate together within program. But man, I'm super amateur with it and kind of just some like, I need to make parts that are functional right now, and this has done such an amazing job for me as just a tinkerer and a hobbyist that I say that if you're ever going to start with this thing, you got to give Tinkercad a, a shot. So what you're seeing right here is exactly what you saw me print. This is the little arm, what we just were looking at there, ladies and gentlemen. It has been pulled together into different pieces. So. I think my uh, print time on one of the pieces and one of the longer arms was roughly five hours, which is a copious amount of time for my printer. I'm not going to pretend like it's not, but the reason why is I put everything really slow. I want the thing to not shake as much. I like get a really smooth print. And frankly, I'm not printing 24 seven on that printer. Um, I try to print as much as I possibly can, but I have a little bit of extra time to let it print and do its thing. So looking back at what we created, I am going to need a mount to actually mount this to some sort of a pole or, you know, some end of this to my actual camera itself. And so my camera itself is nothing but a little board with uh, a power cable USB in it. So I took apart an old camera to be able to, an old webcam, I was sad laying around, auto cam, it's like a C9000, I think it was. In any case, I just took the board out, measurements, figured out where the screws were gonna go, and I went in and I created this little setup right here of a, I guess a door you could say. So when you look at my printing videos and you see a lot of things, one of my like money shots is this shot. This is the nozzle cam. Uh, one of the cooler things when you're 3D printing, if you have a camera like this, which I hate this angle, I'm not gonna even pretend like I don't, but at least it does something uh, a little helpful for us right now. And you can see that little red uh, amount on the front of my, my uh, 
hot end and my cooling fan. So I got the pets fang there. And what I when I developed was my own little kind of mount for it. And that's what you're seeing right here. And so basically what this little thing does is it just uses the, the screws that usually mount your fan on there. And you can screw that on the top. And then I made this little generic mount <laughs> that I can put my camera on. And then the and then what you get is this shot. Uh, if you're gonna ever attempt to build this shot for your 3D printer, what I would suggest you do is get one that is uh, not an autofocus. You want something that's gonna be a little less than an autofocus. You want it to be able to adjust that focal length. And uh, I tried an autofocus on here, spent a bunch of time, built something else. And what happened was it was always focusing as he was moving and it was really jittery and it was a really bad experience. So if you can get like a manual focus, old school camera, C9000, was it C9000? Shoot, I don't, I think it might've not been that. I think it was like a C510. Is that, is that, oh, it says it right here. C510 Pets Fang Mount. So I believe this one over here was for a different kind of thing. Let's just dissect this. Let's take a look at, oh shoot, you don't even see what I'm seeing right now. Let's look at this, these mounts. And I, and I laugh at them because I was super generic and how I made it. I'm literally just trying to push Tinkercad to whatever I think I could do. If I was just generic about saying I need a part, I don't know have this time to go learn another perfect like CAD program. As I develop my skill sets over there, I'm going to just use my sensibilities to create things that are not on Thingiverse and they're going to affect my life and I can go and build my own. And so that's the spirit of what I like to do. Make things in the place that you're at for that are going to things that are going to help you. I got my 3D printer and sure enough, I printed some statues. I printed the different things that you think you could print on a 3D printer, but real quickly it becomes kind of boring and you have a bunch of just plastic hanging around your house now if you're making it for a game piece or you're making it for something that's going to be a display i get it like do it that's what's cool about 3d printing but i think the next level up for me personally was that i could print parts that are necessary for my everyday living and that's what i really strive to do so i get a lot of requests from my friends hey print me this print me that and sure enough i'll go and spit that guy out but at the end of the day i really enjoy to go in there and kind of tool something out and fix it up it took me a few minutes to get off my ass today and get on the stream to just talk to you because I'm sitting there redditing my my ass away and so before we jump into the stream i wanted just to point out something that was really cool that i saw and uh that's this guy on youtube and this is the kind of crap that just humbles the shit out of me because this guy, he goes together. What's his name? Kralin 3D. If you haven't heard about this guy and you like 3D printing, go check him out. But he made a 3D printer that prints upside down on purpose. Now, it doesn't sound, it sounds initially from what, what you hear here as kind of like a gimmick. And at first you kind of think it might be but this dude is a freaking genius i gotta throw that out there so i'm not gonna if you want to watch the video i'll go throw a link to it in the description but generally what he's talking about is it's a pain in the ass to move your printer around to different places i got sick of it so i made my own 3d printer that's as portable and pretty much has a humongous build plane and prints upside down and is super badass and so I'm pretty astounded today. I just want to, th to point this out. So you're kind of seeing some of those screenshots and that. I was uh, I was taken aback. I really am impressed by what he made here. And if you watch the video, there's some really good engineering decisions made in, in creating this. So there's also some gains and some benefits from potentially having a 3D printer that prints upside down. And some of that's in the stability, in the weight of that bottom area, and having not having that huge heavy motor and that hot end going all the way up and creating some insta instability on your thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really do a lot of Kickstarters and like uh, kind of funding campaigns, but this thing's like something I want to I want to look at. So if you haven't heard about it, if you haven't seen something like this, it's insane. So an upside 3D printer. Look at that thing. Pretty amazing. And he goes and he programs the whole thing and he puts all kinds of stuff on it. Call me amazed. I don't know what to say with that. I feel like I should give him a sound effect and he's going to get, yes, you get a coin for that. Actually, he gets a bunch of coins for that one. So thank you, Kralin, for th showing me this today. I'm thoroughly impressed. 
I definitely would like to invest in doing something with that 3D printer. So I'll be talking to you soon. Not because you probably have plenty of other people saying how much they want to look at your stuff. So I did watch the whole video. I'm not sure he's going to release the, the full parts on how he made it. He said he's going to have all the different files and things that he did to actually create it. Uh, and if he has enough interest, then he might start a production run, which I would be more than happy to invest in if uh, that was a, just a little th portable 3D printer. How badass would that be? I would take it to work every day, set it up, and be like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just 3D printing. Don't worry about that. And it has a decent build blade size. I mean, did you see that thing? I mean, that's that's nothing to shake a, shake a leg at. That's a, that's a pretty big uh, build plate if you think about it. Um, based off that size of his hand and he has a massive hand to hold that up. So, oh, I don't know. All right, let's get back to it. Let's take a look a little bit at what kind of 3D printing we're gonna be doing today. Well, we got to be, I don't even know if I'm gonna get to 3D printing right away because I got to do some some tooling on this thing. We got we to gotta fix it up. So I opened my articulated arm. This is where I've been keeping all my little files for everything that I got here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this little guy over here and I'm going to come into my other window and what I'm going to grab today is I'm going to just grab this one because I know it fits my C510 camera. Um, all right. I'm thinking in my head back and forth. Is this the C510 or is this the C9000? And so what I'm currently on, if you're even following along with this, because I could also post the link to this guy here is this is actually the C9000 and the C510 in there. And I had built it for both so that I could mount it on that front thing. And I think in the end, the C510 was the one I wanted to mount and that's where you get your nozzle cam. All right, I got that straight. I should have written that down. Uh, so nozzle cam is good to have that fixed focal length. But now we're gonna take this dude for C9000, copy that sucker, and I'm gonna just paste it right back into here. And we're gonna start tooling on this little sucker. So what's nice right now is I've done some of the legwork. Again, I hate this because I need to like have an inception camera, a camera in a camera to show you this. You know what? I wonder if I could lift it up right here. Oh, I can. Check this out. Here is the little camera. Look at that little light on there. Isn't that thing totally ghetto and weird? So look at, I could go to the roaming cam. What's up? I'm on the roaming cam right now. And now I'm gonna go back to the regular cam. So. This is what we are going to build this mount for. And you see this little black part on here? This is the mount that is in our desktop. So that's what we're gonna be working on. We're gonna retool it so that we can fit one of our mount pieces so I could mount this camera right on there. And then I'm gonna figure out how to do a mount on the other end so I can uh, fix it to a pole. And then that way I have this, this, this little guy here. Let's see if I could show this off is I think what I want to do is attach it to this pool. Now it's really long right now. I'm not going to use all these pieces. I actually printed a few extra pieces just to have around, but I think I'm going to have it mounted to the pool. Let's see if I could see that right there. Yeah. So you're going to mount it something like this and it'll be adjustable up and down and it'll be more of the camera, but you know what? I don't know. We'll see how this works. Maybe I have to make it with like a quick release or something because then I'm going to miss having all the, the, the floating roaming cameras and seeing all the fun stuff around here. I'll think on that, or maybe we'll just get another camera. Who wants another camera? If you want another camera, let me know because uh, we can put cameras in. We like putting cameras in these setups here. Oh, shut the hell up, dude, and get on with working on your piece. All right, so let's click on this and ungroup it. This was like a couple months ago, and I really... Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what I did on it, but one thing that I could always trace myself is, is none of these parts are remixed. I want to be honest. All of this came out of Tinkercad. So this is how I've done this, which I just feel super ghetto and kind of gross, but maybe uh, kind of cool as well, because I'm, I'm not like in a, f it's a CAD program, but it seems like there's little pieces of it that get a little bit difficult to, to measure out and kind of pull arcs and do what you want to do. So this is just a bunch of primitive shapes that I just kept grouping and grouping and grouping. And I even put this slick little edge cut on here and these little things. But what it, what it required me to do 
was to print the thing a couple times. Like I couldn't get, I didn't get this right in the first shot. So I'd say I printed it maybe four or five times before I got all the alignment right, all the different pieces right. But as you saw back over here, I had this little piece and what I guess I could do is I could just take a copy of it and I'll just throw it over in here just so you can get an idea what I was gonna talk about is I take pieces like this and in the app or in this Tinkercad here, hey, where's my nums? All right, there we go. Oh, wrong way, let's get 180 on that. Now, why would it do that? If I was facing the right way, it should have went, do I have to just do, I'm just do negative 90. That should give me where, all right, this is starting to irritate me. It feels like it's it's against me. There we go, that's what we wanna do. Not very uh, exact, but if I what I did was, in in this, this app, I kind of just put these little sections together literally like this. And so I built it super ghetto-ly in here, made sure the holes align, uh, did this whole nine yards and there you have it. I kind of created two parts that fit together and just merged a bunch of parts and you can make some cool things. And so a lot of people ask like, how did you get this shape in here? Well, let me show you. It's actually kind of interesting. So if I were to undo this part, you're like, oh yeah, you got some holes in there and I'll undo it again. I put the whole Pets Fang model in there, <laughs> turned it into a shape so I could fit it right up against this back end and then I merged everything together. And so that just got that perfect fit for me. So when I merged it all together, it was gonna fit perfectly on that pet's fang. So I guess, I don't know if I could actually put that anywhere. I mean, maybe if I merged it all and I didn't have that pet's fang model, I could say, here it is. But regardless, you see how you can use different pieces by pulling them together. One of the first things I got to get rid of though are these little top areas. We don't need that anymore because the way that I'm going to mount this is I need that, uh, that like a, a part. And so I got to, I guess I got to guess, what do you typically mount it to? Do you mount the two part that comes off like this two piece? Does it come off the part or do you typically do that off of the three piece? Oh, you know what? I have a GoPro right here. Let's go and take a look at what GoPro would do. So I just printed this uh, little arm for the GoPro. The GoPro has two. So I think you usually do two prongs or whatever the hell you want to call those things on the device that you're going to have the camera mounted and then it's three on the other part. I guess that makes sense. Whatever. We're just going to follow that standard and uh, get this set up. So. We already know that this little board on my thing's a little offset. And so me just physically looking at it right now on this, uh, on my desk right here, is I need to add a little bit more to this left-hand side. So my question right now, I guess, to myself is how, what, what do I wanna do to add more to this? And so I'm gonna go in here and just uh, undo this, see what I did. Okay. Man, I don't even know what I did. How did I get a box? I'm super even confused with what I did. Let me grab this and take this out. Okay. <laughs> I think I remember what I did. I took a part. I bezeled the edges on it. I made another block. Put it inside there then made it so that basically when I could put it against here and merge these pieces, it would just bezel the edges like that. I don't know if anything I just said made any sense, but basically the effect of what I just did gives this nice little like bezeled edge. Um, I don't know, I probably could have done that a better way and I did something completely wrong. But to add more to this side, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna ditch the bezeled edge. I'm gonna go kind of figure something else out in a little bit now what i think i did before is i just took an existing block and i knew where the cutout was you can see i have this little saturn shape and a couple other dots in there and that was because i was taking a similar camera and i wanted to make it adaptable so really this could have just been one big block right there but what i'll go ahead and do now is just take this guy and probably duplicate it Let me click off here click that guy Copy V that sucker and let's see here. Hold shift. Just looking at it, I probably need about mm, roughly half 
a little half more. Okay, so now first conundrum. Um, I don't know if it's really a conundrum, so to speak, but there's on the camera itself. Let's take a look at it in this camera since this is the only one I got. Is there is there is a hole here and here. And so when you look at this mount that I have created, see this light? I put this on, I, I overhung this right here so this light would show, which it doesn't really do anything for my thing. So I don't know if I really actually need to have this light. But what I did is extend that piece and it's gonna go in front of this light. But do I wanna create mount holes that go for these two pieces here? So what I guess I could do is I got, I, oh shoot, I'm gonna almost drop this sucker. I got calipers here and I can make some measurements. So if I measure that from the very back end, what do I got there? Remember this, 23, 23 millimeters. I'm gonna need to know that in just a minute here. So. Let me fix what I did after just nearly dropping this camera. My weird ghetto, whatever you call it, camera. Basically, if you're wondering how the hell I got that all set up, is if you get those uh, those alligator clip kind of soldering things, I just got two of them and I made a Franken Romer camera. It's been actually pretty nice. I don't know if my replacement's gonna even be better to be honest with you, but whatever, we're gonna still do it. Okay, 23 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do, is I think I'm gonna just take this thing down to 23 millimeters. Is that what I wanna do? Yeah, I wanna do that. 23, nice. Okay, hold shift. I'm just gonna touch it, I'm gonna kiss him. Bink! That should be just enough. So if it's 25, 23 what I should be able to do is come onto this end and just pull it in a little bit and that just will make sure that it overlaps right there okay I think we got the general part here so next 23 millimeters let me get a ruler on this sucker so put that on this place right there and what I need to do I don't want to think the best way to do this I don't know, I like to use other shapes when I do things like this. So I'm gonna take this shape and I'm gonna create this shape into 23 millimeters. Is that it? That seems wrong. Why am I thinking about this? Oh, because I need to actually measure from the real hole to the end now. Okay, I see where I'm going. That's my reference point. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just calipering from that mount hole. To where we roughly want to put it on there. And so that's going to be 47, 47 millimeters. So I'm going to use this part as measuring. So I suspect in measuring in real life that it's going to be just a tad bit less because there's no way that it's going to be dropping off the edge unless that's actually true and I need to actually extend this out. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to trust my measurements. I think that's what I'm going to do is that I might have undermeasured or did something a little bit wrong there. So what this should do, this is 47 for sure. So we want that little spot to have one of these little suckers in it. So can I touch this? Is it different? Hells yeah, it is. So I'm gonna come to this uh, little mounting hole. Okay, I, could, I guess I could, what I'm gonna do with that? Let me hide it for a second. So if you click this guy, you could click that by that little light bulb shutter off. Okay, this is an annoying little part of this. How do I click? There we go. Copy, paste, control V that. Okay, let's show everything and then we're gonna adjust this thing to the side. See how we cheat? 
see how we how we make this work and now it's it's not gonna be perfect but guess what it's gonna get us close and after maybe one or two prints we're gonna have what we need so I'm gonna change this into quarter jumps you know how I like to do that once I get a little bit into the fine-tuning get that guy right there and I'm gonna jump back up to one millimeter and we're set and ready to roll now I know I'm gonna need another one so I'm just gonna copy paste one I'm not gonna even waste my time and I'm gonna start getting it up here so my next question to myself is what's the distance between those two holes and I'm measuring from the center to the center if you're curious all right I got roughly 15 16 and a half millimeters 16.5 so take this guy again let's uh let's go down here 16.5 see how you use other shapes to help do your dirty work it's helpful you know what i'm saying okay so let's take our inner inner piece there and our little standoff get that lined up Feels like I kind of have it a little offset, so I might. Oh, I didn't change it back to one. Hilarious! I changed it to point one. So let me put this on on this right here. I can at least line it up with this one below. Let's see if I got that. So I'm gonna hit top on this. Yeah, that's looking lined up really good. Now I'm gonna put this. Uh, I guess I'll keep it in quarters. We'll go up here. See what we can get to. So, right now, I'm pretty confident that this sucker is gonna do exactly what I need it's gonna mount it but it's kind of funny is I have this hole right here I'm wondering if I just undid this and can I take that hole out that's the light hole just randomly might be in the right place so I'm gonna keep that there just for the heck of it and then okay I'm gonna get rid of my measurement cube because I don't need that guy anymore all right now we got them merged up on that end they're gonna merge the whole thing up and let's see what we have created perfect so we have a, have a generally uh new mount with the new holes but we're still missing the actual mount for the camera itself so we're got to go to another design so let's open this in a new link Go to our Tinkercad menu, and we're going to use one of the Adam and Ryan shows, uh, episode two, I believe, one of our creations. We're going to go to that one. It was the mighty Bojo Crunk. Uh, we're going to use this piece, and it's going to help us. So I'm just going to come in here because it's a nice piece. Copy that sucker. Jump back into our part and paste it. I'm such a copy and paste freak. Look at this. But you could do good things with this. I'm telling you. All right. Looking at my, uh, let's see here. What I want to do here is I want to change this. This needs to go about 90 degrees so I could actually mount this right. No, I don't want to adjust the size of it. There we go. Give me the degrees. 90 should do it. Thank you. Thank you. I got to undo it though. So we'll ungroup, take this little piece here and. I'm going to take the rest of that bojo junk and get rid of it. Take our, our little piece. Now, I know how much distance I have here to deal with this. So let me see. Yeah, if I put it like right there, I think I don't have very much clearance to mount this. Uh, so what I think I might do, let's see here. See how this is going into that. Honestly, that might be nice to have it stand off a little bit like that. Okay, so I know if I ungroup that, I could. Oop, oop, you don't want to do that. You want to grow this. Take down just a tad bit. Now I'm going to group those pieces. And I can take this down and sink it into the bed. Perfect. I like what this is looking like. Let's, uh,. Let's put it all together. It looks okay. I'm liking it so far. Now, one thing that I'm seeing 
is on the back end of this mount here, you got this, this cable. And so it's just kind of freely hanging and it plugs into here. So maybe I could do something about that. What I'm thinking is it could lay across maybe the top of this in some kind of way. And so if you put it across here, maybe I can make something to mount it on. Uh, what would I do? Hmm. Because I'm going to be printing this and I want it to be able to have no supports as I print it. I almost need just like a cavity or you know what? Screw that. I could just, uh, I could put a hole through here. Let me think if this is going to work. Put a hole through here and then I can just uh, use a zip tie and zip tie it to that. I think that might be a better, better way to do this. Okay, so I need to create a new hole. Let's make sure. We get a good size here. So we already know the other holes are relatively small. So it needs to be bigger than that. What I don't know what those radiuses are, but we can eyeball it here. Okay. That looks like terrible crap. Terrible. Let's try to get a little bit more uniform here. Let's put it to three. Is three going to be too big? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe three is too big. That's okay. We'll give it a go. This is the first one. We're not expecting it to come out perfect, right? In the first go around. All right. Let's push that hole in there. And we've got to put it a little bit deeper. It sounds really bad. That's what she said. Put it in there deeper. Okay. So we got the hole somewhat in place. Yeah, it looks like a good place for it. You still have stability on the camera. Then you should be able to go ahead and put a tie down there. So if you put the tie down that way, I mean, it's going to be a, kind of a weird angle on that tie down. So maybe I put the tie down. Oh, oh, yeah. Put it the other way. What the heck am I thinking here? Put it. Oh, wait. Would that work? Because then you'd have the other piece in the way. See, I love talking to myself. I'm talking to myself through this because at first I'm thinking you can put it the other way, but then where does the zip tie go? Because you'll have the other part that connects this in the way. This has got to be be the way to do it. Unless I guess I put it up here. You know what? That might be it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that piece. I'm taking a box this time. I'm just gonna do a box. Zip tie mount comes here. It seems like it would be a better place to do it because then you come across in this. Let's see here. It's got to go down a little bit, not down that way. Let's get closer. Let's get in on this thing and see it. Just needs to be down there. So then the cable will lay across here and then the zip tie will come through there. Perfect. That's what I want to do. That's what we want to see. Now, I'm roughing it out. This is my prototype. This is the kind of thing that you want to do just to get some of the, the calibration and all the tolerances together, make sure things work like they expect it. So technically I could just go ahead and print this bottom part and see if the damn thing even mounts with these two new holes that I did and then try this. But guess what? You know what? We're going to just try it because I kind of had a, had a little bit of good look at, at it being able to get things to generally fit and this doesn't have to have the perfect tolerance to make everything work so with that said and done we have a part for print let's get it set up and on the print bed why do i talk like that it's because i'm entertaining myself i'm not trying to entertain you i'm trying to entertain me <laughs> that sounds really dickish i didn't mean that in a, in a selfish way but i like to sing to myself in a terrible off-key tone I like to I like to have a good time. All right. Export this little articulated arm. Um wait, wait, wait. Hopefully I'm just doing this one piece. I should have checked that. Son of a It's taking a second. I don't th I think it's exporting the whole thing. All right, stop. We ain't, we're not exporting the whole thing. We want to click on this part, export that part, uh the selected shape. That's what we want to do. I'm excited. I'm going to call this articulated arm C9000 mount. Looks good, right? 
Makes sense. Now let's take this in uh, to our to our slicer. Let's get this all ready to roll and printing away. There's our stuff from last time. That's what we were doing when we were creating all our different little pieces. You know, I not, I need another little piece, but I'll do that on a different run. This is our prototype run. So let's import our new part. There's that mount. What the hell? Articulated arm mount 9000 mount STL dot STL. That's all right. As long as it brings it in there. Man, like when I look at this video in a couple years, I'm going to be like, you amateur piece of junk. What were you thinking? But right now it looks pretty good. I like it. I like what I'm seeing here. This is a perpetual problem with this program. I'm going to freaking have a problem because I keep zooming out. See when I zoom out every time, it's because that button in freaking Tinkercad is this button. And so I get so tripped up when I get between these two programs. And technically I actually like how, how, how Simplify does it, but whatever. All right, we're gonna pet G it. I think we'll just leave all the regular infill that we had for the other parts. It should be good to go. Uh, pet G and do it an hour 46 that is a decent time to see this print go through so just see if there's any issues that i'm not seeing looks good all the parts seem to connect with each other uh oh uh oh look at that okay let's see if we could see the issue So what I said uh-oh for is it seems like it's it's almost like it's hovering just a fraction of a hair over. So yellow indicates bridging, meaning that there is not a layer under that yellow, even though it looks like there is. It means there's like one layer that's missing. So what I got to do is sync that thing in just another uh, step. So that's why you always keep your Tinkercad open. Oh, there's that beautiful upside down printer. Oof, I want one of those. Okay, we're going to ungroup this little dude. I mean, it looks like it's connected. I don't know what you think. Looks like it's... Oh, 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 look at that. Dang, this is why you pre-check your print, boys and girls. You want to make sure your parts are touching so you do not have problems i would have printed that and this thing would have been attached and i would have been screwed up so do yourself a favor don't get cocky think you know what you got your shit all together so gotta undo this again and gotta sink this little dude into there it's because this thing's hovering over the bed that's weird i don't know why i'm doing that all right whatever we're gonna sink this deeper in there get in in there all right check your prints people <laughs> all right we got our part ready to go we can export this thing do we do we touched it okay we did we're good wait just before we do was that one part part yeah yeah it's all good to go export this stl you know what stl stands for i actually did know what it stands for it's like stenography a lot of blah, 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 uh, something like that but stenography file thing lithography I don't know. Maybe not. All right. We got the new part saved out. Back into Simplify 3D. Remove our piece. Import our part. And we have an articulated C9000 arm. Ready for mounting. Prep the print. And we're in the door, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check this print now. Hour 41. Less minutes. Are you noticing that? Watch this. Now when it touches, it's a part of it. See how important that was? Look at that. But are you noticing this little like gap right here? I don't know what the shit that is. I hope it like covers that up. But whatever. I like it. I think we're good to go. We're for print. Save it to the desk. We're going to call this. I'm going to call this an articulated mount. See how I name my files? Like a neurotic person, very specific. So I got one version of this part for the mount. Now this one would say one articulated parts. So I should have probably said like articulated parts, big, small, or large, big, or small, or whatever the heck I did in there, but whatever. 
You can't see that whole printout. I'm saving it to my SD card. Now I gotta take off my earphones and go and set it up on the printer. So I probably sound like I'm a little bit further away, because I am. You know what I need to do? I need like a shot of this wide shot where you could also see this freaking camera and this, this, this 3D printer over here. So I have to turn off my 3D printer to build for it to see my freaking SD card because whatever, I don't know why, but I do. So what I need to do is I need to cut. Might as well show it on the nozzle cam because we got it. Let's do the money shot cam. We gotta cut that little green piece off. Always good to clear off that nozzle before you you run your home command, which you'll see in just a second. So we're just gonna do the dual shot. It's a nice shot. Pretty fancy, huh? You see when I also smashed my hand into the other camera and it jacked around with that uh, that remote monitor. I just like to point out at right now um, to all my viewers, I have uh, currently zero. Uh, thank you for joining me on the stream today because it's uh, it's a really fun day. I really like hanging out with everyone over there. All right, so our printer is in the printing mode. We're gonna be heating up. If you're not uh, familiar with 3d printing all that well well go learn it this is not the place that you, i'm gonna teach i'm just kidding this is totally the place where i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna teach you my amateur skills so if you want to go and see some amazing stuff go and look at guys that print make printers that 3d print upside down and i'll be shamed into nothing but with this i'm gonna look at this screen for a minute we're gonna be heating up one of the one of the things about this show that has been interesting is i set up my camera after about 100 episodes is jacking around just 3D printing and learning crap and just printing statues and printing little junky things that I made. The only claim to fame that I have is the amount of work I went into to make these glasses. Because the glasses are out of necessity. I need a new pair of glasses because I broke them during the pandemic. And so I tooled my way. I combined my way. I used all kinds of random, ter like, totally things that I, I wouldn't expect to use the 3D print to get these out and that's what got my ingenuity going to be able to just build the things that I need as I need them uh, so I, since then I've done a lot of projects to be honest with you that are just like little mini fixes to things that I want to go right home about but maybe uh, I guess I could post somewhere and and share if anybody gave a crap about it okay so I'm in the waiting period. Typically, I'd be going and playing a video game. Shit, why don't we play a video game? That might be a good idea. What do we What do we want to play today? I think. Uh, oh man, I need a drink. I, I'm sorry. You gotta You gotta hear me. Oof. Get a drink. That's not a beer either. That's a Lacroix. I already had my beer earlier. I I didn't regret it, but I'm gotta watch my figure. It's so delicious. Key lime pie. It's so hot out. Today it was like 100 degrees outside. Melting everywhere. Believe it or not, I went and picked some weeds before this. Shot some ground clear on some stuff. It was, uh, it was a hot one. I, don't want, I didn't want to be out there. All right, what were we playing last? Oh, crap. Did I take something out? Oh, we have Witcher in there. Witcher in there? Heck yeah, it is. All right, I think last time on freaking Witcher, got some weird sex scene that was a little inappropriate. But I should have known it. It was the Witcher, the DLC. And that freaking, those cutscenes. Like, I jump in to play Witcher with y'all, and the cutscenes are going, like, nuts with on and off about this wedding. I didn't expect there to be so many. And I'm just sitting there not saying a damn word the whole time. 
just like, oh, this is interesting. I got to look at this thing. Ooh. Oh, we can't hear anything, can we? That's right. Let's turn off that, that background music if you can hear it. Yes, you might be able to. Ah, uh, smack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. We might not be able to listen to our to our games today. How can I fix this? I don't know if it's fixable. It's not showing up. Let's try something. Let's see if it works. I had to unplug the gaming card that was feeding in my Xbox. So all we might get today is Witcher Wild Hunt 3. Because, uh, you're not, it's not showing a live thing. Oh, oh, back in action? Did we get sound back? Oh. No, I don't hear Witcher. Anybody hear it? Let's see. It shows on my, my system here. Well, I guess uh, we'll know here. Usually this guy starts yapping away. Ah, shit. Well, damn it. Damn it, Billy. I wonder if I could, uh, wait a second. Maybe I could do it in here. Let's see, doing this live is kind of stressful. Go to properties. Uh, come on, baby. That's a negatory, big dog. Watch, make sure you can hear this bleepy noise. Yep, you can hear that one, but you can't hear the other. That's a major fail. I should have probably checked this beforehand. Watch, let's stop it somewhere. Let's see, I'm gonna unplug it right about... Ooh, the, the conjunction of the spheres. Let's watch it, I'm gonna, oh shoot. Right about now. At least we could look at something kind of cool. So I basically unplugged it. Give it a second to think about it. Think about your badness. I'll pump out some audio levels for us. If you don't know about the story of the Witcher, it's pretty interesting. So the idea that all these demons and monsters and magic came into the world during the conjunction of these spheres. Pretty cool. All right. We're going to deactivate and activate. If we don't get audio, we're going to we're going to call it. I don't think we got it today. I think we're we're at a, at a complete fail. Oh, you know what? We might not be because there's one thing more I can do. Look at this. This is knowing your setup. If you ever have to set these things up, you got to be able to troubleshoot some sound problems. But uh, shit, do it live. I'll show you what I got to do. So on my desktop here, I'm going to go in my sound bar menu and we're going to go and I'm going to open my sound settings menu. There's my mirror box. I'm gonna go to the device properties. I'm gonna go to uh, additional di device properties, I believe it is. And I'm gonna go to listen. Oh, it already says listen. I thought that was gonna fix us. Maybe I'm, I'm still a fail. But that's where I would have checked. What if I took it off? And then took it off. From our kingdoms. Oh my god, I fixed it. Around the warmth of the eternal Hooray. fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. See? That's how I do. None will fight this war in us. <laughs> that was so dumb. Alright, let's get into this. That was that whole part was going that whole time while I was trying to fix it. Man, I've watched that too many times before. I can't remember what I was doing last time. Oh, smack. Guess what? 3D printer's getting ready to 3D print. We gotta watch first layer. So I'm gonna have to do a G, uh, 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 baby Z adjustment.
right. Cheer it on. Let's go. We have lift off in our 3D printing arena. Looking good right now. I'm pretty sure I had, what did I get? Yeah, 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 I have a couple skirt layers. That looks beautiful, so just check in on the print. I think I was telling you this last time, I basically cannot 3D print without my cameras because I had to shove my 3D printer in a corner. So where that camera is, is like an impossible place for a human to be. It's actually really a pain in the ass to even get my camera there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a better angle because that angle sucks balls. I'm just gonna acknowledge that right now. But it's not gonna suck balls as much as it is when I, wait, what? Oh, I thought I had to go kill someone. Never mind. I'm in a different mission than I expected to be. Let's talk to this herbalist. Okay, so we gotta go to the mercen mercenaries camp and talk to Quinto. Quinto! Let's, let's just remind myself what mission I'm in. Not there, not there. Oh, I was doing some Gwent last time. I feel like that's where I was at. All right, that's the safe cracker. Oh, 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 I remember. So after I made some, some dude, I remember this. Okay, so back, back, I guess last time some dude's trying to recruit me to be a thief. And now I got to go and do some Oceans 4 crap. Too fast, too furious. Fast 4. I think that's what Disturb told me last time. All right, let's see what else. Can you hear that 3D printer in the background? It sounds like it has a gimpy leg. I kind of want to do those treasure hunts. That's nice, but it's, I don't know. Let's see here. What do I get there? Ruined huts. Um... In a hut, a griffin has roosted, so I gotta go kill a griffin. That's why it's a 38. Avid collector. Oh, hell yeah! I got that freaking painting. I gotta go sell that. Totally selling this. Okay, let's go see where I gotta roll. So last time I did a bid, and I got a, I got a painting, and I'm gonna get some kids ash for it. So let's go to Oxenford. So I gotta do a little bit of fast travel because I sure as hell ain't gonna walk that or horseback that sucker. It's a rainy day out. Do I wanna go out? Aw, oh, Roach! Poor buddy. Buddy. I'm sorry, dude. You know what? Let me get you out of this rain, man. Hey! Roach, get out of my way, dude! Ugh. This, this is this is awkward. Okay, okay. We are away. Let's go and get ourselves to a sign. Get our asses out of here. Now, as the great witchers would once say, fast travel is the only way when on a mission. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, let's look at this print while we wait for this load to go. Oh, that's looking real nice right now. Look at that. I love this green that I'm using. It has this, like, Kelly green. I'd call this Kelly green, which is a really nice, nice color. Um, it comes out looking like on this camera that you're watching right now, it looks mint. But when you're looking at it, like, on, on this camera... Oh, wait. This camera which, of course, nothing's in the camera that's that green. Kelly Green. All right, let's get something sold to this bookseller. Town of Oxford. Wait a second. By order of the oh. Whoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside oh. it or her. What the? Wait, where are we at? Hold on a second. We're in straight up Novigrado. 
I see. I watched a mage freaking get burned on this. It was brutal. It just seemed like they were like rehashing that piece. A lot of the time, I have sold most of my gear to this dude right here. Because he's usually like Top -notch stoked up with a bunch of kizzy. Show me what you have in stock. Ugh. I had to shave my beard for that freaking wedding. Ugh. Pull my beard back. Damn it. I don't have anything to sell. He has 2,000 coin. Ah. Gah. I'm out. So long. Can't sell you crap, boy. All right, let's find my uh, bookseller. I've I've gone to this bookseller before. He has some good books. Some of the most rarest of books. I gotta get into his shop though. Hello, lady. Where's the bookseller? Is this it? It's locked. You know the bookseller? I'm trying to get into the oh hey bookseller. Yo, what's up, Marcus? How you doing, bro? Yo, what's up? I got you some paintings. What's up? Ah, you're back. Yes, yes, yes. I got a painting for you. You want to buy it? Got a painting I'm looking to sell. Good for you. But why come and me about it? Because it's a Van Roo. Heard you might... A Van Roo? I'll take it. Now, where's me purse? That's I right. much just now. But I'll add a bit of loot. Another witch I left at his collateral. What was his name? Guillotine? That's so interesting. Thanks. What'd I get? 500! What the heck is this? A trophy? Where is that for your horse? Dang, it is. What does it give me? Bonus gold? What? I'm gonna put that trophy on there because, oh, it looks like a head. It looks like a head in a jar, upside down. Conserve, conserved shaman trophy. How, how can I look at it closer? Oh, you don't want to take it out. All right, I'm gonna work at that. Oh wait, but I had 10, 10% chance for dismemberment. Oh, that one's so good. But I want gold too. All right, do I want gold or do I want to chop people and things up? I want chopping. We're keeping the chopping in there. Hey. All right. That was it. That was an easy quest. Imagine if I bought the wrong painting and I didn't listen to the story points. All right, what I need to go to next is I, I'm going to repair my swords over here. Wait, whoa, whoa, I just missed it. Did I miss it? No, nah, here he is. What's up, bro? I do need your help. Uh, okay, I get it. You tell me the same thing every time, man. You can just say, what's up, dude? I bought so much from you. Am I not that familiar of a face? Show me what you have in stock. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have to ask. You should just show me. It's all sitting around you. It's not like it's in your pockets. You don't want to remove no upgrades. Okay. Repair. Yeah, why not? We'll repair it. 104. Repair. 129. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Am I wearing that right now? I don't know. I think it would tell me, right? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, it's always probably... Yeah, it's 12. That ain't nothing. 11. 94 is a little steep. 12, we're good. I need to go sell some stuff. I need to sell. Mm. Farewell, sir. So long. All right, we're going to go and we're going to sell to this dude because, frankly, 
I don't want to deal with my money just disappearing. I gotta make a living as a witcher. Gotta get me some coin, boy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you do that? You sell stuff. You kill people? You steal their swords. Well, I guess it's not stealing. Those are kind of dead. No, they have to attack you. You can't just go murder some rando. Uh, can I walk down this hallway? Nah. Man, I don't know my way around this place. I remember the first time I got the Novigrad, I was just like, oh my, like, holy crap, this place is so big. And I started chilling around. People kind of had some quest for me. What's up, Temple Guards? Yo, yeah. Thanks for your help, Carol. Yeah, yeah, no problem. See? Everyone's my buddy around here. Let's go and check out with my boys in here. What's up, guys? It's raining. Get your asses inside. You're going to get a cold. Come on now. Anybody seen Dandelion? Yo, what's up, boys? Not too many people in here. Hope you're enjoying the private show, dude. Yeah, what Skelligers are you talking about? There ain't nobody here. Where's the freaking bartend? Get some food on this. Heck yeah. Alright, well, it must just be because it's nighttime. So I'm gonna go in my stash. What's up, boy? I have such a hard time finding inspiration. Yeah, well. S suck it. Go, go become a witcher. Here's all my craziness. So I had what? He had two grand on him? So let's sell, uh, let's sell some swords here, huh? Let's see how much I get for that. Right, let's, that, let's get one sword, huh? What's that accent? It's a terrible one. Let's see here. Four, so that's going to be two. I got to get four swords to sell. See how slow this would be going to be? It's going to be the slowest thing in the world. So many dead people swords. Oh, uh, and these swords kind of suck. Or do they? Yeah, they're not great. Let's see if there's anything else in here I wanted to sell. I've actually sold a lot of this stuff, but I keep acquiring so much stuff. It's ridiculous. I'll probably get rid of all these runes. Oh, I don't think we would even want to watch me get rid of these runes if it's going to take that long. I'll do that off camera someday. Alright, I'm going to take my runes back that are all specially runed. Alright, I got four swords worth about two grand. What's up, y'all? Getting up on my stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for... Wait, what's this? Loot? What is that? You know what that is? I think I know what that is. Wait, what happens if I push it though? Let me see. I dropped some swords here one time. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. It just stays there. I'm gonna so use that trick in the future. Okay. Let's get back to the square and sell our goods how you be a, a seller of goods. Oh shoot, is the dude asleep? It's in this square, I know it is. We're just gonna go here. All right. It's just been rainy everywhere. It's raining in Witcher, it's raining in Colorado, it's raining everywhere and flooding everywhere in Germany and Italy and all these terrible storms are coming. Yeah, it sucks. But I'm playing here Witcher for your entertainment and my own. Yes, it will. Thank you for that reminder. Thank you. I appreciate it. Excuse me now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Get a job, you lazy screw-aheads. Go home. 
Jesus, boo! Alright. Top notch source. Yes, 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 sir, we know. Show me what you have in stock. Alright. See, he's got oh shoot, I could have grabbed another sword. Son of a... Uh... Wait, what? It said it was worth so much more. Oh, he's only willing to buy it for this much. It said it was worth Wait, hold on a second. Look at this. Look at this trickery. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Shush. Jeez. Five, five, two. I am selling this for a hell of a discount, sir. What the fish? just gonna be sitting in that box collecting dust swords. okay we've established that you have top-notch swords that Show I you sell you, you it's me this is gonna be frustrating selling all these things see how, how buggy it is I think they're gonna remake this and take your kizzies to ash oh at least I could sell a bunch more swords if I wanted to so I'll do that later, though. So long. Yeah, later, dude. Whatever. All right, let's figure this out. Uh, we need to go to quests. Thirty-four. Rose on a red field. We're gonna do this one. That other one looks a little deeper and heavy. Hold on a second. Yo, what's up, dude? I need to exchange. How can I be of service? Yeah, let's convert some currency. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. You act like you don't know me, Vimmy. Vim, Vivaldi. Alright, peace out everyone. I'm gonna disappear from this this world. And we're gonna go on a journey. Where are we headed off to? Well, not too far. Bowden. Alright, let's check check out this print. What if it was all jacked up? It's not though. It's looking really nice right now. I think I put concentric on there. Concentric circles. It's gotta be why it has that shape. Oh, shoot. Got some ghouls already. Just like warp into death. All right, let's see. Necrophage, I guess. Necrophage oil. That would probably be a good one to put on my sword. That thing is jacked. Sword is sharpened, has runes, has freaking oils. Man, and then I got my trophy. It's like the OP sword. What? Uh, oh, it took his head off. 10% chance, everyone. I hope you weren't killing the people in this place. Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. There's some crazy shit going on. Let's find our way to who's messing with this. Someone's been smoking the funky junkie. I don't think that's what it's called. But I'm gonna call it that. Some dwarven spirit, some diamond dust. Get ourselves lit up on this. What do we got over here? You always need some coal. 
If I was in Minecraft, I could, uh, smelt some iron. Let's see here. Dang. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not encumbered yet. I'm making out like a bandit. This looks like a, like a crack house. Got just beds strewn about. Drugs and bottles everywhere. What's this spilled mess over here? Disgusting. You guys live terribly. But, oh yeah, you gotta put your, your knives up on the wall quite well. Let's see how this is. Alright, let's check out this, this cooking. What's cooking? Who's cooking something? Yeah, I'll take some water. Okay. I thought it was coming from this house, but no. Any more cool stuff? Can I go in here? Is this the one I was just in? This is just the same exact one I was in. I ran into the same house like an idiot. Alright, alright, I see how it is. What do we got in here? Looking like some voodoo in here. How do I get in here? It's like a barn. I can't get in here this way, can I? No. Just walk in this front door? Uh... What? This looks dangerous. Smells of... Huh. They were cooking Fistech. Took most of the equipment. What? And left what was broken. That sounds like meth, just like I freaking said. True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Oh, I told you! Narcotics, it looked like a freaking meth house. Freaking druggies. Alright, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something more. Alright, let's see what we can find. Let's go around here. Am I looking in the house or on the outside of the house is the question. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Oh, nothing. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh. What is this? Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Coming out that back door. Go, go, gadget. Alright, this is where they jumped out. Looks like a scuffle. What the hell were they doing? They really did that that much? Somebody grab them out of there. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Alright. Of course they would have. Oh. Ooh, I needed that. I actually did. Huh? Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. It's a child. Maybe. Huh? <gasps> Ooh. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Shoot! We have a murder! Meth murder. Wait, we gotta look for the guy that shot the bolts? Just here? Is he gonna fight me? You know how much I like people that have bolts and they shoot bolts at people. We've already determined this in a prior session. She's gonna like pop out of a bush. 
Shoot, I'm missing something here. Look around for signs of a man who shot a bolt. Alright, alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing my thing. Scar on his forehead. Okay, we must be Clivert. Bolt in the that back. Went in bad. deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Yeah, I get that. Am I supposed to, like, go outside of this little circle you got me in? I wonder if I have to use like art or something. Is he stuck in there? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting jacked around right now. Do I just need to run towards the freaking city? Oh, wait, wait. Is that more? I think we found it. Get over there. Let's step over something. Yep, yep. Let's see what this says. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hmm. Wonder how long ago. Did that guy have rigor mortis? Huh? Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Uh oh. Wait, what hill? What hill are we talking about? Really? Like I need this right now. Come on. Freaking drowners. I don't even know those are drowners. How would he know somebody was still there? He must have just known it was like a few minutes ago. Looks like rain. Ah, oh, crap. We're going to lose our tracks. Get on it. There's the horse. Fiztech Fat Manufactory. Okay, can't allow it. Ulrich. Dude, freaking Ulrich. What did I tell you? All right, let's see who's in here. Yo! Any murderers in here? Interesting. Um, I feel like I've been here before, maybe, and I dropped all that junk. There's no way that dude had that many swords. Well, I got some drugs, I guess. Okay. I didn't know I was going to be doing a drug mission today. But apparently FizTech is some sort of... I don't even know. It sounds kind of like something from... Oh shit! Sounds like something from Fallout. What are these things accept? 
susceptible for. Oh shit, you know what it is it um not Quinn, but I want Quinn. I like Quinn. Ooh, you put its poison on me. Ah! Okay, got that one. You got me good. That other one got me good. We're gonna, we're gonna boost. Those things are deadly. Oh. Oh, I'm bleeding out. All right, what do I need? I need some fire on these people. These, these drones. Come here, buddy. Take it. Oh, shoot. They're susceptible to just mind control. I don't know what to use on them. Try some mind control. Oh wait, no, I'm putting Quinn on. Quinn, Quinn myself. That's why you Quinn. Ooh wee, I hate these guys. Freak me out. Okay, I'm about to, okay, we're gonna murderize this guy, last guy right here. Boom, right in his booty hole. Ow! Ah, oh, crap, there's another one. Jesus Christ, you gotta tell me about these things. That one hates me. Sorry for the excitement, but Jesus. Oh, I put that on as he hit me. Okay. Yeah, he's got poisons on me. Ooh-wee! That was dangerous. Showed my terrible skills as a Witcher fighter. All right, let's take a little nap. Let's take a little nap in the evening. Ah, so good. All right, back on the trail. How'd that dude get past those things? He probably gave him some fizz tech. Got him high. I probably could have just skipped him. It was the right thing to do to kill him. I'm pretty sure it was. Come on, get up that hill, boy. Ow! You need some sunglasses. What is this? What's up here? Got some swords. Got some more. Oh, red. Right, is this the camp? Uh oh, I got something. Hey, <laughs> I guess I looted their their druggy camps. That was very loot lootatitious. Investigate the Fallen Knights lab north of Brunwick. How far is that? All right, it's not too bad. It's just a small jaunt through the forest. Watch for. Any crustaceans that might pop out and eat your face. Those things were brutal. They had those big old, like, knife things on them and they sliced me with it. They were one of my more disliked enemies. Those spiders. I'm not a fan of the Leshen or Lechen or whatever the hell that is. That tree forest guy. I don't like those guys either. Uh oh. Alright, I think we found where we need to be. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna save. Just, just to do it. I haven't saved in a minute. Fallen night. What up, dude? Heard you've been murdering the people. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know what you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Well, they're talking like assholes. So I could respond in a don't like your tone, change it. Because if you say you don't like their tone at first, you're kind of like saying, hey, watch your tone. But then you're saying change it, so you're kind of being a dick. But maybe not as so much, so I can then ask what's inside and just be like, what's going on? It sounds like if I say what's inside, they're going to be like, shut the fish up and get out of my face, and I'm going to kick your butt. So I'm going to tell them I'm going to be a little gruffer. Don't like your tone, brother. Odd, say. I thought I was being polite. But if courtesy dad work, we'll try something else. Oh, oh, ho, ho! Like it wasn't going to end up there. Shit. Ow! Hey! All right, well, let's see what you're doing here. How did I miss that that swipe? It looked like it went oh right in my chest. This guy's good. He's good. He's got some moves. Yeah, you too. Oh, Quinn. Oh, and he landed one too. That was pathetic of me. All right, let's get you on some fire. Yes, it will for you, sir. Eat that. Boom. Oh, you got one more smash on you, boy. Uh oh, you got slice. Burn, bitch. Change that tone. Ah oh, man, now I feel bad. He just had a bad tone. It could have been kinder. Grilled chicken sandwich, so totally worth it. Never mind. Need a grilled chicken. Damn, what did I cut off on this dude? Dude. I cut him straight through his body. That's so brutal. I got a good flaming sword. But great, now I'm over encumbered. Shit. All right. What do we got in here? Uh oh. Let's loot it up, I guess. I'm already having enough stuff to weigh me down for a year. Aw, oh, shit. It's like a whole underground cave system? Hell no, nah, I'm gonna be running around encumbered in this shit. Alright, hold on a second. 223. I could fix this. This is fixable. Let's see what I got. It's heavy. Heavy armor usually does it. Oh, I like that shirt, though. It's so nice. I'm not going to get rid of it. 11? 11. Damn. Drop that. Oh, it feels so good to be able to walk around now. All right. We're going to be saving this right here. Like we've got a journey in here. I didn't expect this. I thought I thought the mission was over. I'm gonna be honest. I thought this was just a little tiny dinky ass house, not some freaking meth head fizz tech lab. That's definitely toxic and dangerous. Do not go in there. That's my advice. Yo, what's up, yo? I'm part of you guys. It's all cool to be here, right? He's, they're growing some pot in there. Hey, what's up, bro? Bloody hell! Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. 
True. We shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry. So you become a meth dealer? Took our land, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. And had him imprisoned. Hey, just to let or you know, exiled. I killed the guy, so, uh, still wear the colors. you know, cut me a break here. And we must find a new place in this world. Congratulations and goodbye. So we've become bandits. Honestly, don't give a damn. You know what? Let's talk this through. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would. But how do you even. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask shit. politely. This was always gonna end in a fight, wasn't it? Oh shit, there's a shite ton of them too. Alright. Oh crap. And I accidentally took um potion, if you noticed. Burn those guys. Ow, ow, ow. Don't hit me. Ow, ow. Oh. Arrow man? An arrow guy. Of course an arrow guy would be there. Get out of my way. Get 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 okay. Button mashing time commence. There are a lot of guys in here. Burn those guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just trying to get away. I'm playing pacifist here, you guys. I don't want to fight. Don't make me do this. Fine. You out. You done. You done. You don't mess with the witch up. Okay, well, I might not be uh, having the best of times here. There's a lot of guys. Gonna do a little, da little dance. Do a little dance. Make you love. Murder you tonight. Where's the arrow guy? Cause I I feel like he's gonna screw me. I feel like the arrow guy is gonna be bad. Wait, 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 wait. Ow! Stupid arrow guy. I told you. That fool. All right, let's get my sword. We're gonna get that arrow guy. Hangman's venom. This is the one we want. Do I have that sword out? I don't. I feel like I don't have that sword out. All right, where is this freaking dude? Where's the arrow guy? There he is. There he is. We're getting you guy. He has one hit left. Oh, I punched him. I punched him out. Ha ha! This is br this is bad. I I. That guy burned for a minute. This is not my best showing. Not my best showing. I'm not gonna have to lie. It's called button mashing. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? Alright, we're gonna use the Thermopylae here. Damn it. Don't get yourself in a corner, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get yourself in a corner. That is most definitely a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna go this way a little bit. Oh, we don't wanna go in there. Is it gonna let me out of here? Back my way through here. Come on, guys. Yes. There's still an arrow guy. Oh, it's because that guy has armor. Oh, we already know these sword guys. Uh, these, these, these guys. Like, that's Ulrich. He, that is Ulrich. I thought I killed the freaking... The one dude. 
Ulrich, you little bastard. Stop. Oh, I got his head. Not good. Yeah, I got slashed. I'm bleeding out. Because Ulrich's a bitch. Ulrich. Got the body shot. All right, all right. Where's Arrow Boy? Shoot. I like grilled chicken sandwich. I'm gonna call these guys Wendy's. Hey, what's up, Wendy's? Can I get some fries with that? Sapphire rings? He's talking about doing drugs, and these guys are like wearing jewelry like they're freaking gangsters. Shit, 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 shit. Almost fell off. I can't run. Somebody was shooting me. Who was shooting me? I like how, like, I kill all these guys. Just like they killed everyone else. And then I take their drugs. I swear to God, an arrow came from here. There is a guy alive. Whoa, where? I see it. They're like over here. You see it? Just like these red things. Oh, is this something I need to like pick up or something? Where are these guys? Ah, shit. I don't want to keep picking up these swords. There's two guys, you can tell. I don't know where they're, they're stuck. Is there a guy over here? Let's go over here. Let's check it out. Oh, they might be up? Nah. I must have tweaked them out because I, I retreated. Oh, there's a guy. There's the arrow guy. You freaking arrow guy. Oh, that felt so good. Arrow guys get just suck my big fat girl he had a chicken leg <laughs> delicious all right we're almost uh, done with this journey i'm sick of playing freaking witcher i need to go and get some rest soon so let me say good night to the i don't know what that red thing is around the ground do you see it not encumbered yet. Let's go get this dude. Grilled chicken sandwich, man. I, I love it. I love how they all have grilled chicken sandwich. They're like, they go to Wendy's, make drugs, and straight up kill people. And then there's some red shit that's like right here. I don't know what it is. It must be above me. This place gave me the creeps. I'm out. Leave your damn corpses just to rot here. I liked how all my options basically just were like, yeah, you're gonna fight these guys. There's no, there's nothing you're gonna do to not fight these guys and murder them. In this cave. Those are the other corpses. Shit. Okay. Let's find my way to the woman to get my money. Money, money. Damn, girl. I have to go so far to catch you. We're going to be going to Brunswick. Yo, what's up, bro? Bro! I need to... Yeah, what's up? Roachy Roach. We're going to go... Uh... Let's go. We got to go talk to this lady, see? And uh, she's gonna give me some cash monies. I'm gonna get you a nice uh, trim up and some new horseshoes. I'm telling you, it's a good time. Thanks, Roach, for everything you do. I'm gonna hook it. Four wheel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, you can make it down. You've done better, buddy. Now 
was thinking that was going to be a bad river to cross. It wasn't too bad. Seems like we've been stuck too much in the rain, though, lately, boy. Uh, you see that dude just chilling? Glad he wasn't an enemy. Alright, here's the sign we were looking for. All right, Roach, I'll see you a little bit later. You go graze. Make ourselves back to the lady. Check on our print. It's coming along swimmingly. We'll definitely be able to check it out later. You're not going to see this finish tonight. No, no, no. I'm already getting exhausted here. What time is it? Oh, man, I've been streaming way too long. How many hours have I been streaming? An hour and 41 minutes. Actually, that's a decent amount of time to talk to yourself like you're crazy. Play with your 3D print stuff. All right. And to the lady. What kind of award rewards shall I get? What did I even do this for? I lose my Wait, do I have to go in this bar? You have to go in the bar. Guests, fish, and bloomers. Was it this guy? Oh, it was this lady. <laughs> What's up, girl? I did you think? your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. Yes. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, Puss Peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. What'd I get for this? Huh? 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 What'd I make? Ah, uh, come on. Let's see how much gold I got. Horse 200? For that kind of murderization? Ah. Cheapskate. I fight like 20 people for that. Cheers. Blimey. All right. Well, we're going to call it a night because that was, that was brutal. So... Checking on this print before we close up shop. We got the print going around. Looks like that, uh. That's looking really good. Let's see here. We're on layer 12 right now. Oh, yeah, we got quite, quite the bit to go. So we got. 114 layers, and we're on layer 12. But a, a lot of those initial layers, yeah, layer 12, and then it's just like. It's the posts and the mount. So we were at, uh, what? How much time are we in on this? About an hour. So we got about another hour more before this guy's done. All right. It's been fun. It's been great. It's been witchery. It's been 3D printy. You guys have a good night. Peace.